guys welcome back to another vlog so any of you that know me know that I'm really really crafty and I love making cards projects gifts I love making anything with paper especially I love paper I don't know if you can see behind me but those are my shelves full of paper so I decided that I would start doing some crafting vlogs so Today we are going to be making a birthday card. So this is the card we're gonna be making. It is a birthday card with cupcakes and really, really cute little designs on the paper. It says, just for you, and it has some really, really cute jewels on it. I'm not sure if you can see, but the paper here is textured, and it is really, really awesome. I used some foam squares under this to bump it up just a little bit, so let's get started. The paper that I'm using comes from the Sweet Shop pack. It has beautiful, beautiful paper. It is a DCWV pack of paper. They sell it at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any of the major craft stores you can get it at. And it is amazing. It's textured, some of it has glitter, it has beautiful pastel colors, and it's really, really awesome. So if you're looking for the exact paper that I used, that's the pack I used and those are the places that you can find it. So I have here my pre-cut papers. All right, so I'm gonna take my piece of paper that I'm going to use, it's cardstock for the base of the card and I'm gonna fold it in half just like that. I'm gonna use scissors to go over the crease just to make it really, really smooth like that. And then I'm going to take my other pieces that I already have pre-cut here. Um, like I showed you, I have this paper that has a little bit of a design on it. Um, I have this really, really cute cupcake paper, some pink paper, and then this is the design that will go behind uh, my stamped word that for this sample I'm using just for you. So this is just a little rubber stamp I actually got out of the dollar bin at Joann's. Um, so don't discredit those bins. Sometimes they have really, really cute stuff in them. And then I'm going to be using this stamp pad from Close to My Heart. The color is Tropical Blue and it matches my paper really, really well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp just for you on my pre-cut piece of paper here. I'm gonna ink it up really good. And I'm going to line it up as best as I can, always keeping in mind that if it doesn't come out perfect the first time, you can either turn the paper over and use the back side, or simply cut another piece of paper. Either one will work just fine. So I've stamped just for you on it. I'm not sure if you can see that in the light. There we go. And now I'm going to start gluing. So I'm going to be using an Elmer's Disappearing Purple Glue Stick. I really like glue sticks. Um, they work really well and they generally hold really well. So I'm going to put some glue on the back here. I like the purple because you can see that there's glue on it, but then it dries nice and clear. So I'm going to put the Just For You right in the center of the little piece of background paper that I have pre-cut. I will put all of the measurements of the paper in the description down below so that you get all of that information there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my card and I'm going to put my background piece on. As you can see, I've cut it just a little bit, my background piece just a little bit smaller than the white cardstock so that it has a little bit of dimension to it. So I'm just gonna put some glue on here. And I'm going to stick it down and just hold it in place for a moment just to make sure that it stays on there. I'm going to go ahead and take my Just For You and I'm going to put it on the front of the card as well. I'm going to put it right here off to the side, right up next to the right side of the card. Glue it on just like that. Make sure I get all my edges down. And then I'm gonna take my cupcake paper and glue it in the center of my 
pink paper here. But I'm not gonna glue my pink paper directly down to my card because I'm gonna use some foam dots to give it a little dimension. So on the back here, I'm gonna put a foam dot on either end. So I just have a roll of foam that I'm just gonna cut. and stick on each end. So now I can take my backing off of my foam dots and easily add it to my card. And I'm just gonna overlap the Just For You tag just a little bit. So see, you can see the dimension. And you can get this, um, it's called mounting tape. At any craft store, you can get it at Big Lots, you can get it sometimes even at the dollar store. So keep your eyes out for that. And the next thing that I'm gonna use that's really awesome are these little jewels. And they usually come on a roll. These are little pearl jewels. But you can also get them in a pack that comes something similar to this. And they're really fun to add dimension to your project. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these on to my little card under the Just For You, just to give it a little dimension and a little bling. So I hope you enjoyed my card tutorial. Obviously I am, this is the first one, so I'm kind of getting used to the light, figuring out what the best way to do it is so that you guys can see what I'm making, um, see the final product, see each step carefully. Like I said, I'm gonna put the information in the description below. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Any ideas that you guys have about different types of cards you'd like to make in the future, let me know. Um, if there are any specific products you want me to try out and show on here for you, let me know. And the other thing I've thought about doing is putting together little card packs in um, these cellophane bags to mail out to people. Card packs that have the pre-cut papers in them so that when my videos come out, you already have the papers with you and you can make the cards along with me. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know, comment below, or send me a private message. Our email address is in our about information on our page. So um, feel free to send me a message, comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Bye.